What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. All right, look. Hit the sub button. All right, we're on the road to 7K. Go ahead, hit that sub button. Help me get to that 7K. Now. Upon further review, I'm watching the Washington game, and it, it dawned on me that we have filth at the wide receiver position. Now, I know what you're thinking, Fisk, that's not news. I know it's not news, but the reason why I say it dawned on me that we have filth at the wide receiver position is it's not changing. You see, for a majority of the season, Giants fans, we, we were looking forward to Kadarius Tony. Now, granted, even Chiefs fans is looking. Chiefs fans still looking for Kadarius Tony. Don't nobody. Kadarius Tony, he is what he is, man. Like whatever. The point I'm trying to make is this: there was hope. All right, we was looking forward to Kadarius Tony coming back, Galladay coming back, rejuvenated. You know what I'm saying? Wandell, remember, Wandell missed a lot of the first half of the season. So earlier in the year, when our receiving courts was, was filth, it was like, okay, we're going to get Wandell, we're going to get Tony, we're going to get Galladay. We had hope. Fast forward with 7 4 and 1, Galladay is, is done. Wandell tore ACL. And Kadarius Tony needs to get on his knees and pray to God himself for a hamstring because he obviously don't have one. So that hope would have been gone, whether we traded Tony or not. The hope that the wide receiver position was going to get fixed is gone. Then Joe Shane, our general manager, decides not to do anything at the deadline. He says, Danny, I'm going to hang you out the dry. Saquon, I'm going to hang you out the dry. Brian Dable, Mike Kafka, I'm hanging y'all out the dry. Y'all just going to have to eat. You just got to hold that L for the rest of the season. It is what it is. Now, thanks to Jerry Jones leaking medicals or whatnot, we know that Odell probably won't be able to be Odell until January. But that's not news because I've been telling y'all for two weeks, we only need Odell for the playoff game. I, I don't think Odell is going to be ready to be Odell until the last game in the season versus the Eagles anyway. You feel me? I, nobody nobody with common sense would, uh, expects Odell, if he signs this week, expects him to suit up versus Washington next week and, and, and ball. Like, be, he didn't have a preseason, didn't have a training camp. Like, stop. And he got to learn the playbook, right? Look how long it took for us to finally start utilizing Wandale. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm getting at, Giants fans, is nobody's coming through that door to save us. Nobody. Odell can't help us get to the playoffs. He can only help us in the playoffs. We're going to have to get to the playoffs by ourselves. Which leads me to the topic of this video. I'm watching the Washington game, and I'm watching Daniel Jones juke people. I'm watching him find holes in between the blockers and things like that. And I sat back and said to myself, can we just run Justin Field and Lamar Jackson offense for the next couple weeks just to get us to the playoffs until Odell's ready to come back and everything is fine? Can we just do that, please? That works. I'm watching Justin Fields put up all these points week in, week out because he's running the ball. And I'm like, you know what? That would help Saquon too. If you start, if you establish Daniel Jones as the complimentary back to Saquon, and I know what y'all think is Saquon, I mean, Daniel Jones runs a lot. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about runs like four or five times a game. No, 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 no. Run Danny 15 times a game. Period. We need to we need to go to the playoffs. We need to put up offense. We need to run Danny 15 times a game. We need to run Danny to the point 
that when we run Saquon, they're hitting Danny in the backfield just because they're scared of him. That's what we need to do because that's what they do in Chicago. They're so scared of Justin Fields that he can hand the ball off and they'll still hit Justin Fields and let the running back go wide up the middle because they're scared of Justin Fields. That's what we we need to establish Daniel Jones as a hundred yards a game rusher. That's what we have to do. We need to do that because Darius Slayton ain't it. We know that. Not even gonna rip Darius Slayton. He's done a, he's done a lot this year. He just he can't help it that he's sorry. He can't help that. And then, you know, Isaiah Hodkins, okay, fine. But Richie James, okay, fine. Like, that's not that's not going to generate the points we need. We need to establish Daniel Jones as a runner. Make him a complete and utter weapon in the offense. And let that open up play-action passes for Bellinger. Let that open up some play action deep crosses for Darius Slayton. Because a lot of things can happen when they're scared of your quarterback. I'm just saying, like, remember, look how hot um what's my man name? The tight end, Cole Komet. Cole Komet was balling for, for, for a while when, when Justin Fields started picking up. If you look at Baltimore, they don't matter who Lamar Jackson has a tight end, the way they run that offense. With Lamar running and the running backs running, it don't matter who he got a running back. It don't matter who Lamar Jackson got it tight end. The way they run that offense based around Lamar, people be wide open. That's what they need to do versus the Giants. The Giants need teams to stop playing man coverage, okay? Because we can't get separation on man coverage. Once you start running Daniel Jones 10, 12, 15 times a game, now teams have to play you in zone. They can't man up and press you all game long. Like what tends to happen to the Giants because the Giants can't beat man coverage. Giants can't beat man coverage. None of these receivers again. At least if you can get teams to start playing zone, start playing some cover tools, you can hit but you can hit Bellinger in the scene. I'm laughing because like I'm literally sitting here just trying my hardest to be offensive corner. I'm no Mike Cavica. I'm no Brian Dable. I'm sure they heard this video. They probably be like, what the hell is this idiot talking about? But I'm just being honest with you. Like, they need to get creative. Okay, they need to get creative. Because uh, newsflash, one thing I will be right about Dable, Cavica, one thing I am right about is this. The offense is trash. It needs prayer. OK, it needs a biblical miracle to score more than 20 points on a consistent basis. And that can't be disputed. So I, maybe I don't have the answer. Maybe running Daniel Jones like Justin Fields and Lamar Jackson and Jalen Hurts. Maybe that's not the answer. But obviously, y'all, y'all haven't been able to find a way to generate a passing attack. So until y'all find a way to generate a passing attack, all ideas on deck. Daniel Jones is 80 yards behind Jalen Hurts. If I told if I told you that Daniel Jones was going to finish with as many rushing yards as Jalen Hurts for the season, y'all look at me like I'm crazy. Daniel Jones is on pace to have about 800 rushing yards this year. Let that sink in. Daniel Jones is on pace to have about 800 rushing yards this season. He's already well above 500 rushing yards, and we got five games left. So me saying we need to use him like Justin Fields and Jalen Hurts and all that, that's really not that's not a bad idea. It's really not a bad idea. You might as well just go. When you do something in life, people, you do it all the way. You do it all the way. You don't have to do anything. When you commit to something, you commit to it fully. The only way we're going to generate offense is to let Daniel Jones be our second running back. It's only what we're going to do, in my humble opinion. But anyway, that's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit. If you're rocking with me, my name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.